So right now I am driving to Disney's Animal Kingdom. A friend hooked me up! So this video is going to be more vlog style. I'm going to show you guys four Disney parks that we're going to go to in two days. It's going to be exhausting, but it's going to be so much fun and magical like Disney always is. Today we're starting out with Animal Kingdom and probably going to end the day with Magic Kingdom. Tomorrow we're probably going to hit up Hollywood Studios and end the day in Epcot. So stay tuned and we're going to go through all the parks. Let's see, I'm so excited! So we started our day off in Animal Kingdom. When you first walk into this park, you see the Tree of Life, which is definitely the icon of Animal Kingdom. It's 145 foot tall. All over the Disney parks, you can see these golden statues, which is an honor for Disney's 50th anniversary. Inside Disney's Animal Kingdom is a place called Dino Land, which has a really fun ride called Dinosaur also has a mini really cute dinosaur themed carnival. Inside Disney's Animal Kingdom there's also a lake in the middle of the park where characters will come floating by with boom boxes and sometimes live musicians. One of my favorite rides here is the safari. The safari is actually 110 acres and it will take you all around this place and you can see some amazing animals. After the safari, we decided to go see one of the shows. This one was an up-themed bird show, which featured a bunch of different kinds of birds that interacted with the audience. One of the other shows that is featured here is The Lion King, which has live dancers and singers. After Lion King, we decided to go on Rite of Passage, which is an Avatar themed ride. I did not film inside the ride because you are sitting down on a motorcycle and it's very hard to hold your phone. After that, we decided to exit and head off to Magic Kingdom. Magic Kingdom is always an amazing place to go. We started off the day with a cute little parade with all of the princesses just strolling on by. I freaked out when I saw Tiana and Belle. It's just absolutely magical in this cute little town there's shopping centers a coffee shop all of it we started the day off with pirates of the caribbean which is my favorite ride i did not record inside because it's way too dark but it's absolutely my favorite and then we went to some more classics like the haunted mansion space mountain and we ended our day off with the fireworks show in front of sleeping beauty's castle this fireworks show is incredible literally the first time i saw it i was in tears they project scenes from disney movies onto the castle while fireworks are going off behind the castle it is absolutely beautiful the show ends with tinkerbell literally jumping out of the castle and flying down in a light-up costume With that, we made our exit and went on home. We started off the next day with Hollywood Studios, so we picked up our tickets and went into the park. Stepping into this park is literally like going back in time. They have 50 styles billboards and buildings. We started off the day the same way we did in Magic Kingdom with a parade with a nice little charade of Disney characters. The first ride we went on was Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway. Talking about literally putting you inside the cartoon. I did not film this part, but literally the screen opens up and you walk through to where you're going to wait in another line to get into a train. The train takes you around this huge building that projects cartoon images all around you. It literally feels like you are inside the cartoon.
The next place we went to in Hollywood Studios was this new Star Lords land. They literally just built this and it is incredible. It's literally like stepping inside the movie. Everything looks so real and you can buy things that look exactly like stuff that you would see in Star Wars. All over this part of the park there are stormtroopers walking around and they literally talk to you and try to arrest you. It is super cool. One of the most famous rides here right now is Rise of the Resistance. We had to wait in line for a pretty decent amount of time, but it was completely worth it. Inside the ride, there are stormtroopers. It looks like you're literally in a space station. Inside the ride, everything is so crazy realistic, even the animatronics. It is incredible. It literally feels like you are part of the Resistance. After going on a few rides, we saw a few characters and made a quick trip through Toy Story Land. After that, we decided to go on a few classics like Hollywood Tower of Terror and a rock and roller coaster. Then we decided to take our leave and head on over to Epcot. All the parks are connected by these gondolas and we decided to take one to Epcot. They're super fun and you can really get a beautiful view of all the Disney parks and resorts around the surrounding areas. And just like that, we were in Epcot. Epcot is one of the coolest parks that I have seen in my entire life. Leave it to Disney to go above and beyond. The whole park is sectioned off into different countries. At every single one of these countries, you can get some very authentic food. All of it is at different price points. Some of them will have more fancy restaurants, but all of the countries have a little stands where you can get food for about five bucks. And it is delicious. This park has some more classic things like some Disney princesses walking around and a few art stores. Obviously, one of my favorites was Mexico. Inside the giant pyramid, there's a bunch of beautiful art scenes of Coco. And also there is this gorgeous nighttime tengis where you can find a bunch of really cool souvenirs and a gorgeous restaurant inside. Some authentic dolls and of course some ears. I wanted these so bad. There is also a really cute little ride inside where you get on a boat and it has the music of the Three Caballeros, one of my favorites as a kid. At the end of the ride, they have a beautiful mural of Mexico City and a place where you can buy your own abrije. Chili killers! After literally stuffing my face, we decided to go on a couple of rides. First, we went on Spaceship Earth, which is a ride about how mankind learned how to read and write. And we did a Finding Nemo. The Finding Nemo ride is amazing. After you get off of the ride, you go into this humongous aquarium, which is one of the biggest aquariums in the world. We said hello to our buddy Olaf in the Swiss Alps. Got some shrimp in Australia and got to see some drummers in Canada. And of course we ended the crazy two day Disney trips with a gorgeous fireworks show. Bye Epcot. Two days and four Disney parks. How do you feel? I'm tired. I'm very tired. It was worth it though. Totally worth it. We're leaving now. It was amazing.